video is going to show you how to solve sex link problems. So when we're solving these problems, we have to recall that uh, male is XY and female is XX. And we're going to incorporate this into our problems. So let's look at a problem together. So a carrier female for hemophilia mates with a male who has hemophilia. Give the gender phenotypic and genotypic percentages. So we're going to set up our key as normal. So since hemophilia is a recessive disease, uh, we're going to say that big H is normal and little h is hemophilia. Now what the difference is, is in the parent genotypes. So we know that mom is XX and dad is XY. But now we're going to add a superscript for the actual uh, genotypes. So the if the female is a carrier, then we know she does not display hemophilia, um, but she's heterozygous because she actually carries the allele for hemophilia. So that means we're going to have X superscript big H, X superscript little h. So she's heterozygous uh, for hemophilia. And then the male, he has hemophilia. Now recall that these sex link traits are absent from the Y chromosome. So that is going to be XY, and since he has hemophilia, we're going to put little h on the X, but we're going to leave the Y blank. This is crucial that you do this. Uh, this is a common mistake that people make is adding an allele to the Y chromosome, but these traits don't work that way, so you're going to leave it blank. And then you're just going to uh, set up and fill out the Punnett square as normal. So one possibility is that we're going to have a normal carrier female, we're also going to have a female who has hemophilia. We're going to have a normal male. And then we're going to have a male with hemophilia. So when we're given our percentages, we can give it in one of two ways, depending on the question. If the question is out of the total, you would say that one-fourth or 25% are normal carrier females. 25% uh, females with hemophilia. 25% normal males. 25% males with uh, hemophilia. But if the question is out of the, the gender, then you'll say, you'll look at the males first. You say out of males, 50% uh, of them are normal and 50% of them have hemophilia. And out of females, you say 50% of them are normal carriers and 50% of them have hemophilia. So that's a sex link problem. Uh, let's do another problem. It's your turn. We say a carrier colorblind female mates with a male with normal vision. Give the phenotypic and genotypic percentages by gender and out of the total. So why don't you think about the problem, uh, pause the video, unpause it when you're ready to look at the answer. So if you set up the Punnett square in the right way, you'll have the following. You have um, a normal female you have a carrier female, you'll have a normal male, and you have a colorblind male. Um, so hopefully uh, you understand how to solve these problems. Thank you.